Good day everyone, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick and we're going to be looking at a golf game this time on the ZX Spectrum 48K. It's World Class Leaderboard, published by US Gold in 1987, a game that also came out on the Commodore Amiga, Antrad CPC and the Commodore 64. Now I've already reviewed Leaderboard, which I thought was quite good, so we'll see what World Class Leaderboard is about. You get a choice of four courses, um, they're uh, Champions, Cypress Creek, Doral Country Club, St Andrews and Gauntlet Country Club, so we'll do one of those at random. I could do my name at least, and we'll put it on amateur mode, so there's a little bit of wind that blasts around. Now, leaderboard came out in 1986, this is 1987. I've written down how far the clubs go on each one. It's taken a little while to draw this, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. I don't like that back sound. Right, anyway, so here's our golfer. Um, by pressing the button, we hit the power, then the bar comes down again, and I hopefully hit it with that other second line to do a straight hit. But that looks quite good, actually, first of all, with my one wood. We'll do a few holes, but we won't do a lot of holes. Hmm, it is drawing slower than leaderboard. It might be just my imagination. Have some trees there. That's a bit of an advanced um, interface. There's like red bits about the place. Um, right, so one wood. Let's try and time this properly this time. Actually, 172. Six iron for me. Get over that tree. Will it get over the tree? I think it's no. I think it did go over the tree. I can't actually tell. Now, if you had this one back in the day, let me know. I always seem to have a problem. My approach shots seem to be quite good on these games, and then I always have a problem with my putting. And we're on the green already. You see, it's a par four in the top right. So if I get this in, it will be a birdie. You can see the slope is going down to the right. There. There's a bit of a line. See that uh, blue post? Right. Let's try and judge this. I think the maximum you can hit it is about 62 feet, and it's drifting off a little bit to the right. When I say a little bit, I mean a lot. Okay, right. Now, putting will let me down. So I need to get this one for the par. We won't do a full course, that is for sure. Now, the guy is just blue. I don't think there's any options, or there isn't any options to change it. Oh, man, what happened there? There's no options to change the, uh, the clothes that you're wearing. But you do get four courses, so I suppose that is good value, I imagine. If you play this in the Amstrad CPC or Amiga or Commodore 64, let me know. I suppose I could um, play it on the Commodore Amiga at some point. This is frustrating. Putting is very frustrating indeedy. I eventually got the hang of it on leaderboard, but looks like, uh, yeah, same sort of thing. So if you like leaderboard, you'll probably like this. It come a year afterwards, but for some reason, I can't quite put my finger on at the moment, I like leaderboard better. Maybe it drew quite, maybe it drew quickly. But I'm knocking this ball about a half a millimetre a time at the moment. I think it's because it's trying to draw more scenery, like two feet. Oh, come on, throw me a bone here. I had a chance of a birdie, and now I'm about three over. Oh, man. I can't wait to get out of here. Golf is such a frustrating sport, isn't it? Hmm. I think the other golf game we played... I can't remember. I think it was uh, Konami's Golf, I think. Right, has that gone in eventually? No, it's still out. It's still not in. Or is this the second hole? I think it went in. It didn't go in, did it? Oh man, knock this in, right, two feet still, this is my ninth shot. Right, I, right, it went in eventually. So putting could be a problem, let's see what hole it draws next. To my knowledge, I, you can't bring up a map on this, which would have made it a little bit better, as it draws the woods. Now I don't know if that's water we're, we're hitting over or not, so manoeuvre the cross where you want it. Taking the wind into account, we're five over par on the very first hole. This one is a par four. We'll see if it gets any better there. Now you can do a hook or a snapshot if you don't hit the button bang on the second line on the downswing. Track this one down if you're into golf, but you need a little bit of practice here. These reviews aren't about perfect gameplay, which you probably know if you've been there at the channel for quite some time. It's about how you would have found it on your first or second go, and would there have been enough there for you to want to go back. It'd be a tough sell if you weren't a golf fan. I'm sort of like getting into this more now on the next hole. Hole two, hole in one would be nice. This is a par four, already as I say five over par. But the control mechanism is doable, it's similar to the, the, the first game, if not identical. How far away now? But you need to write down the distances that each club goes, so you can sort of like guess where um, how much to do it in. Come on, that'd be good if that goes in. It didn't! Oh, I should have hit that slightly uphill then. Gazoinks! 
Gazoinks Gazinkies. Right, how far are we now? Eight feet away. This is for... Go in. I think that was par, wasn't it? Did we par that one? I think we might have Catherine parred it. Hole three. As I say, we won't be doing the whole course. Looks like this goes round a, a corner there. So I'll hit it straight to the bend. Yeah, that was a par, that one. So we got it back slightly. So knock it along here. We won't go over the woods because it probably gets stuck in there. One wood. Give it full clobber. Up, down. Oh, where's that? Oh, actually, I think I've, I got I got that wrong, but it slightly hooked it round the corner. So my own mistake has made me better off. Good. Well, that's good then, isn't it? If you're into your ZX Spectrum games, and um, there's quite a few games reviewed now on the channel, coming up to 700, check out the ZX Spectrum uh, playlist, and uh, we do a live stream of ZX Spectrum games um, normally Monday and Tuesday, if you want to um, uh, join that. I'll put the alerts up on Twitter if you want to follow me there. Right, go in the hole. We did uh, cover leaderboard, I think, on one live stream. That was quite good fun. In a in a eight bit way. Don't think I'll be doing this one though. It's not a bad game. It just doesn't add too much, and I don't like that um, that dull beeping noise when you're um, getting ready for if you're shot. One of there's a way to turn it off. Doesn't seem to happen on the putting green though. Right, par four. Get this in there. Can everyone will be cheering? Is it? No, it's drifting off again. Oh, what? I need some putting practice. So you need a lot of um, stamina if you want to do all four courses on this. You certainly do. Should have done St Andrews. Right, go in. For two pars in a row, it'd be nice. No, it's a little bit short. Needed to knock it four feet. I think we knocked it. We'll soon find out how far we've knocked it. Not far enough, Nick. Oh, 18 inches. Oh, no. Now it's not going in at all. Silly ball. Silly game. Who invented golf, anyway? Golf spelled backwards spells flog. And I'm, I'm flogging a dead horse for this. Stop the tape. Well, with no tape here, boyo. Hole four. Right, I was five over. Or a bit of water there to try and avoid, it looks. That might be getting interesting. Yeah, I, I was a double bogey that one. So plus seven after three holes. That's not great golfing prow S. Oh, that beeping sound. Stop. Oh, that's slightly, uh, slightly to the right. Oops, I've knocked it into the woods. Maybe I should have tried to cut the corner there. I've over pelted it. But I don't think you can get lost in the woods this. You can't get lost in the heavy rough. Right, so, I think um, 48 yards, pitching wedge does 64 in maximum. So I think we need a pitching wedge to get us out of here. And hopefully onto the green for a nice easy putt. Oh, it's hit the tree. Should have moved the tree. Move the tree away. No course editor on this that I'm aware of. Right, it's another chip shot. I think we passed the tree now, are we? A bit further away. 42 yards. Try to do. I tried to do half of the strength. Didn't quite do it, but it's on the green anyway. For a super long putt is needed. Putt, putt, putt. Not a shot putt. A normal golfing putt. What can be more relaxing than a game of golf? Well, this isn't that relaxing. 21 feet. I think that's about third strength on the putter. You see the slope there. It's like sloping away from us. Well, that's over a third, isn't it? That might be too far. Nick. Oh, it's in, is it? Oh, what a putt. Excellent. See, you warm to games if you get good at them, and that might have rescued it a little bit for me. What a putt. Good. So it was on plus seven. What is it on now? Was that par? I doubt it was a birdie, because we went into the rough for a bit. Oh, we, I think we lost another another one. So, yeah, we'll do, we're doing one last hole, then. We'll do one last hole, and then we'll get out of here. You pretty much know whether you want to track it down or not. If you're into golf, we'll then track it down. If you're not into golf, well, I wouldn't bother. Check out leaderboard first. But it is, it is drawing. It's a great attempt at golf on the ZX Spectrum. I don't think there's, there's too many better in this series. I can't think of any. So yeah, lead, lead, leaderboard first, then world-class leaderboards a second. But I might be just uh, remembering it wrong a little bit. But uh, the, graphically, the interface is better on this one. It offers you a bit more of the same, but it's that, that dull beeping when you're on the fairway that gets on my nerves a little bit. But you could turn the sound down, I suppose. It's not it's not a biggie. It's not a biggie. 
Okay, so we're plus eight, we're on the green already. It's sloping to the left, slightly coming towards us. So maybe we can make a correction there. We need to knock it 48 feet, so that's a bit beyond my skills. Is it gonna drift back? No, it's drifting away. 48 feet, I need to knock that. What have I knocked it about halfway? Perhaps because it was going up here. Let's see if it says 20 something. Let's see, draw the course already. So it's a little bit off Tiger Woods. Oh, 15 feet short, right. Uh, this is a par five, this one. Go in. That's in. Yeah, my putting is getting better. Yeah, okay, I, I'm warming it, warming to it now. I did say just one last go. Should I have one last go here? No, one last hole. As soon as it draws it. Right, one last hole. Pelt it straight down the middle. Hopefully, that, oh, it's going to go, it's drifting a bit to the right. I think it might be in the rough. We might be okay. We might be okay. This is the last hole we're doing. I think we are just about okay, aren't we? That blue blue and green stripey thing represents rough. No, we are in the rough. Which I mean, I don't think we can hit the ball full pelt from the rough. But there's the hole only up there. It's a par four. If we get it on the green, could have a chance of a birdie. Go. I should have I should have picked a I should have picked a better club than an eight iron. The eight iron doesn't give you well, none of the clubs give you full strength according to the insert if you're doing it from the rough. It's only if you're on the fairway. So you should always pick maybe a stronger club there to compensate, which I didn't do. But if I played it again, um, which is only unlikely, um, um, I would uh, correct that. But it, it's, it's, yeah. Uh, it's not ticking boxes with me, but I can see is it from the terms of golf what's available, it's a good game, really. I progressively would say that. Right, off it goes. If you had it back in the day, you probably played it quite a lot. As I say, I'm playing it with the... Um, the eyes of a newbie. Would I have gone back to it? I think it would have pulled me in, to be honest with you. I think it would have pulled me in and I would have gone back to it quite a bit. It would have been a bit of a love-hate relationship. A bit like golf, really. A bit like golf in its entirety. Right, now, 27 foot putt. Let's see an end with some glory. Ooh, ooh, it just went slightly wide. I'm, I'm sort of like slowly getting my eye in with the distances on this um, putter, which is good. This is world-class leaderboard. Not world-class cheat board. I don't think that's a, a, a game. Has that gone in? I think I've got a birdie somewhere as well. Good, good. So I hope you liked having a look at that one. As golf games go, it was good. Um, I'm a bit in two minds. Yeah, I, I would go back to it, to be honest with you. So world-class leaderboard. It draws the map okay. The only bad thing is this beeping sound at the start, but you could turn the sound down. So hope you like to have a look at that one. That's world-class leaderboard on the ZX Spectrum, published by US Gold in 1987. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro or golf, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.